We are in northern Thailand, on the banks of the Mekong, one of the world's major rivers. This mighty river originates in the Tibetan highlands and flows through China, Myanmar, Thailand, Laos, Cambodia and Vietnam. Its journey covers more than 4,000 kilometers. The Mekong provides water for drinking, farming and fisheries for over 60 million people. Along the way, it also helps generate a lot of electricity. But these multiple uses have degraded the river environment in many places. Tensions and conflicts have arisen from damming upstream, overdrawing of water and river pollution. There's also a greater threat. The Mekong may just not have enough water for everyone anymore. Rice farmers in northern Thailand already realize this as they cope with acute water shortages. More than half of all rice grown in Thailand comes from these paddy fields. That needs a lot of water. You have to understand the uh, traditional rice cultivation in Thailand, which is generally high water intensity. But the amount of water they put in for cultivation of rice is not necessarily required. It's a lot of water. But if we save that part of it, we can use that amount of water to grow additional rice or maybe two or three rice crops per year. The challenge is to grow more rice with less water. Here in the northeastern province of Roy Et, researchers are working with farmers to achieve just that. They are trying to improve rice yields while applying water sparingly at specific stages of the rice plant's growth cycle. It's a new method called System of Rice Intensification, or SRI. This research is carried out by the Asian Institute of Technology and Thai Education Foundation. It's a small grant project under the CGIAR Challenge Program on Water and Food. At the core of their efforts is a weekly farmers field school involving 30 farmers. SRI is based on the principles of ecological farming to achieve more crop with less seed and less water but without damaging the environment. One main idea is that rice fields should be kept moist but not flooded. For this they use mulch. We are trying to incorporate the green manure crop. So we started with adding organic matter, then by use of green manure we are adding further mulch to the soil. So that way a substantial water reduction can be achieved. Another method is intercropping rice with other crops such as beans. This provides green manure reducing the need for chemical fertilizers. But the biggest change came in how rice is planted. This system calls for transplanting rice plants when they are just 12 days old. That way the rice plant produces more shoots and more rice. Now farmers can see the results for themselves. SRI is still an evolving system. It needs to be adapted to suit specific conditions in these farmers' fields. At the end, we, we would like to see that uh, farmers are convinced with the benefits of this technique and they will continue to use this technique in years to come and help the uh, grow more food for the province, for the Thailand and for the growing population in the world also. This is a small beginning, but it may lead to a whole new way of managing the Mekong waters.